Now, I would think this would grab headlines if scientists at NASA or if the International Panel on Climate Change were giving us this news. Or I assume that their interpretation or their public statements are not in sync with what you've just told me. Yeah, that would be the understatement of the millennium so far. <laughs> Why is that? Let's use the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change as an example. First, let's just dismiss the idea that any member of the executive branch of the United States government, including NOAA, is going to reveal the entire truth about the dire nature of our predicament. So let's turn to among the most conservative scientific bodies on the planet, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. First, let's consider how their documents are produced. Each assessment requires consensus by the scientists in the working groups. So if one scientist in a working group of 20 people or so says, no, I don't think it's going to, the temperature is going to rise that fast, then the temperature doesn't rise that fast. That's the conclusion. After the documents are produced, they're filtered through the political process. They are not released until they're censored through the political process. And their starting point is the refereed journal literature. Nothing is included in the five assessments so far unless it is first published in the refereed journal literature. So, for example, the vaunted fifth assessment, which came out in 2014 but was heavily leaked beginning as early as September 2013, concludes a couple of things that are noteworthy. One, there's only mention of methane twice. The word is mentioned twice in a single table in the document, pointing out that methane is not a problem, and nor would it be by 2100. The other, the other worthy piece of information is the omission of self-reinforcing feedback loops, or so-called positive feedbacks events that feed upon themselves. So the information is old, really quite old, by the time it gets to the IPCC. And then the, the process of creating the synthetic document, the assessment, ensures that the information is very old by the time it gets out and relies upon consensus. So there's no way for very timely information to be included in the assessments produced by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And if, if anything threatening civilization, much less threatening our species, were to appear, I can assure you the political process would make sure that information was removed before the document was put out for public consumption. Well, it is pretty depressing, <laughs> pretty depressing news you're giving me.